when it rains, it pours. I breathe me so well. My oh, poor baby. <laughs> These fears are definitely stemming from her being in the hospital about a week ago. It actually clogged his G-tube so bad, just the cord, that it burst the seams. I literally do not know how these things always happen to me. When I say that it has truly been two of the most intense weeks of my entire life, I honestly just don't even know where to begin. Blakely unfortunately landed herself in the ER a few nights ago. She did end up getting admitted. We got EKG, there was a ton of stickers and they were really painful to get off so she got ice cream for being so brave and oxygen is chilling above 95 so we are living the dream huh baby oh baby I just <laughs> I want you not to ice cream it is so good it is so good huh you're nice and warm you're so brave baby are you amazing mm -hmm. the big one <laughs> How are you feeling now? Now that we went to the hospital and got ice cream. You ready to roll? Yeah. Let's go to the other hospital we need. You gotta go to the other hospital? Yeah. Okay. We're done with this one? No. It's almost done. <laughs> Once you finish the ice cream? I, I finished the job one. I feel so mm, good. I hear that deep breathing. I breathe in so well. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I'm breathing. <laughs> That's all. What? What does it have in it? Tell me what's in it. There's all of it. What? Is it grapes? It's strawberries. And what else? Grapes. Strawberries. Nuggets. There's grapes, strawberries, and chicken nuggets in there. And blueberries. And blueberries. And this. And television. There's a lot of stuff in that juice. Yeah. <laughs> <That's daddy. laughs> You're silly. She had to stay for the entire night and it was because her oxygen was so low. I've talked to you guys about Hunter having really bad lungs. His dad also struggles with his lungs and it seems like Blakely really just inherited that. So anytime she even gets the tiniest bit of a cold, she will complain that it's hard to breathe. Obviously with our experience of having Beckham, a special needs child, and also him being so premature, we do not mess around when it comes to our kids in terms of them struggling with breathing in any capacity. So it's always better to be safe than sorry and it seems like every time Blakely does complain that it's hard for her to breathe, she ends up getting admitted to the hospital. Fortunately, she was only there for about 24 hours and they did send her home on oxygen. Her oxygen saturation was very low. We do have a little pulse oximeter here at home and that was helpful because we knew that she was like not quite as high as she needed to be and that's what initially made us take her really seriously in terms of her struggling with breathing. You guys know that she was in the ER a few months ago and she was admitted to the hospital at that point as well, but she had to stay for a few few days and that was just such an awful experience. However, it did teach us what to look for. Any jigsawing of the tummy, any struggles with breathing, just kind of being able to hear if something's off. So it's fortunate that we were able to kind of recognize that quickly. And this morning she started complaining to me that it really hurt to drink. So I have a pediatrician appointment for her in about an hour and I'm gonna let you guys know what they say but I'm suspicious that she might have something like strep throat. Oh my goodness you guys, when it rains it pours. I put her down a little early for her nap and hopes that she'd sleep a little bit before we head to the pediatrician and she woke up and is complaining again that her mouth hurts. My poor baby. Update, she is doing a little bit better. She asked me to go away and to just give her the iPad. We have to leave for the pediatrician in about 40 minutes. So I'm just gonna let her try and like relax, try and keep her calm. I need to desperately take a shower before we go. I'm just coming home from work. I'm just praying that it's just a little calm and cold or something easy to get over. Unfortunately, on top of everything that's been going on that you guys have seen in my past couple videos, my nanny also threw her back out, which when Blakely or Beckham are sick, I do like to be with them anyways. And I typically will give anyone who is taking care of my kids the day off. So it did end up working out in our favor in terms of a timeline. But of course, I just feel so bad. She's not just my nanny, she's also my sister-in-law. I just feel awful. She literally hasn't been able to move or like get out of bed for like two days. So I'm just hoping that I also get 
get an update from her on how her back is doing and that she is like feeling a little bit better and is able to get up and move. Not only for me to have childcare, of course, but even more importantly, just so that she feels good and she feels healthy. When it rains, it pours. Do you want to drink it? I'll Good job. He's been struggling with eating and drinking today, so we're getting some apple juice in her, which is a really good sign, huh? Can you give thumbs up that you got apple juice? I'm so proud of you. Swallow it, baby. Good girl. Can we get some more? Yes, of course. Are you can. Good. Give some more. Good. Good job. Let's see if you can drink it all gone before Daddy gets home, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here, I'm gonna put you a little further up, okay? I'll stay with you. And you don't drink so much. You don't have to drink more. Yeah, yeah, I do. Oh, you do, okay. Good job, baby. I'm so proud of you. You're doing so good. You're so brave. I said ABC was dead. Yeah, it's why? O U N G L A. <laughs> There's not a B, but B is for Blinkly, huh? This is the B for Blinkly. Okay. Will I D O D I? Good job. Oh, 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 oh. Drink of your apple juice. Good job. Good job, baby. He likes to watch Daddy drive up on the driveway. Is he here? I want to go to the doctor now. You want to go to the doctor now? Yeah, we're going to go to the doctor now. You want to go say hi to Daddy? Yes, go. I knew Dad would cheer her up. <gasps> what did Daddy just tell you, sissy? What are we doing? After the doctor, what are we going to do to make you feel so much better, uh, Angel? Uh. Oh, you guys, she's so lovely. She's so sweet. All right, we are almost to the doctor, and Blakely is just having some nerves because she doesn't want medicine, and she doesn't want anything to go in her nose. These fears are definitely stemming from her being in the hospital about a week ago, and so I reassured her we should not need anything in the nose today, and medicine-wise, it should all be oral if she does need anything, hopefully, so fingers crossed on that front, and I will update you guys with whatever the doctor says but I'm definitely suspicious of strep so that's my theory and honestly I hope I'm wrong and that she's just a little under the weather I'm brave like mommy. you're brave like mommy yeah. oh sweetie that is so sweet I'm brave like you and I'm brave like your brother and like your daddy she wanted to bring her little baby along huh is that yeah is that your baby he's hiding he's hiding oh yeah that's so funny you're no, the best little I got mommy you. Got her. You got her. Oh, good. I got under his foot. You got his foot. Like, I got him out of the way. I just didn't fought her. You are so cute, sissy. I'm bugging him. Yeah. Great in the hospital. You're gonna do great, huh? Yeah. Look, like you're cheesing. I love it. Oh, we're going in. Don't hold me. Oh, okay. Press it, press it. Okay, we're gonna press the two. Good job. Did you bring your baby? Oh, are we going up? Let's go up. You're doing so good. Oh. Whoa! Oh, down here. Like you. Like me. Good job. Mm. This is so good. Wanna pass the baby? Yeah. Pass the baby. Already now. No more seconds. Sissy, did the doctor just come in? Yeah. yeah, and she took her temperature and her oxygen saturation, and it was great. And they also took her weight and her height, and she did so good. You are doing so good. Let's hear this side. Yeah. Let's do it. Hold it stand. Good job, Sissy. You're doing oh, so good, good, baby. Good you're so brave. Hi, Mommy. Hi, Princess. All right, so the doctor came in and she does have an ear infection 
on her left side and her throat is a little red, so we are going to test for strep. Did you get a sucker, sissy? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, should we take your water? Okay, so we just got down at the doctor. She has a little ear infection in her left ear, but it was a negative for strep, so she's not contagious, which is so nice that I don't have to keep her away from Beckham. She did phenomenal at the doctor, so I told her we'd get a little strawberry drink on the way home, and then we just need to stop by the pharmacy to pick up her medicine. But honestly, she's doing so much better now than she was earlier, which just makes me so happy. Can you get a strawberry drink? Yes, pink strawberry. It's a pink straw and a pink strawberry drink, and you had a pink su sucker, and you're wearing pink pants, huh? Mm -hmm. I heard her medicine is pink, so we just got our pink girl over here. Oh, good job, sissy. We just got home, and Blakely's getting her medicine. Good job, Angel. Good baby. Baby's giving her her medicine, so she drinks it. Good job, Blakely. Good job, honey. I want some. Good job. Thank you. We have pizza now. Yay. I will say that although it has been a very hectic, tough couple of weeks, the one silver lining that has just been so sweet and special is that our little Mr. Beckham doing absolutely perfect, which is always such a blessing. I still have not heard back on him getting his hip surgery scheduled, but I am going to call up again just because it's been a couple weeks and I still haven't heard anything. So I just wanna make sure we get that on the books so he is fully taken care of since it was progressing pretty quickly. This little guy just had a huge whole food meal that daddy made. Hunter, you'll have to remind me exactly what was in his meal. Okay, so today we had beans, corn, strawberry, um, a little bit of zucchini, and then it was peanut butter, you know, trying to get some calories in, a little bit of local honey, and oat milk. Oh, and a tiny bit of apple juice just to keep him consistent. Yes, because you know what we were doing, you guys, is the oats, it would like expand overnight and make it really thick. Like oh, overnight and oats. so much water yes. to make it even, I mean, it, it actually clogged his G-tube so bad, just the cord, that it burst the seam. So we had to give him a new extension. Not his That's button, right. just the extension. No, yeah, he was fine. It was fine. Yeah, it was a little bit wild. Yeah. I just walked into my daughter's room with some gummy bears. And I just, I remember that TikTok that this dad or mom made. Yeah. Where it says that you're working for a three-year-old. No. And waiter. it was like I was her waiter. I walked in and she goes, thank you. Put it on the table, please. I, just like that. Her manners are so cute. Though. She She's is so, so sweet. Like. Yes, she okay, is. also you guys. Fitz. The Fitz. <laughs> oh Not that kind of video. <laughs> okay, you guys, so I do just want to give you a brief little update. Although Blakely was like really struggling earlier, she's honestly doing so much better. She was in the best spirits the second we got into the doctor. I was like, oh my goodness, they are not even gonna believe me that she was acting sick. And Becca got to stay and have a full day with daddy, which was like the best. They're obviously obsessed with each other. So I picked up Blakely's medicine. She just has, again, a little ear infection on the left side. So we'll give her medicine twice a day for seven days. And that should just clear it right up. But it's really nice she's not contagious, so I don't have to keep her and Beckham apart. I just wanted to give you guys kind of like a brief rundown. Oh, also, oh my goodness, you guys, I have to insert this clip. The other day, I literally like got stuck in my car. And thank goodness Hunter was like with me, but in a separate vehicle. Beckham's so vocal right now. But it was like so hectic and weird. I literally lost my keys. Well, I didn't lose my keys. My <laughs> keys were not in my car when I was like needing to go to a two hour therapy session because God knows that I need that right now. And I'll just insert a little clip for you guys because it was wild. I literally do not know how these things always happen to me. You know how I keep like running out of gas because for some reason my brain cannot look at my gas gauge. Went to the gym this morning and I dropped Blakely off at my mother-in-law's house because she was kind enough to watch her. I give her the diaper bag. The diaper bag has my car key. I somehow make it to the gym without my car key driving my car. It doesn't alert me or anything, but I'm sure it did. So I must've missed that. So I'm in a rush to get to my therapy appointment which I am in such desperate need of, I cannot even tell you. So I get in my car, I go to leave my therapy appointment. My car is like, yo, we don't have your car key. You cannot drive this vehicle. So I'm like, oh my gosh, where is my key? My key is at my mother-in-law's house. What is wrong with me? How does this stuff always happen to me? So thank goodness I had a tiny bit of buffer time. My mother-in-law lives pretty close. So my father-in-law is bringing me my car key and I'm stranded in my car. But at least I've got my little uh, Prime Bite brownie, which is literally so good. I cannot even tell you. So I'm snacking on this for 
breakfast really quick because your girl has a two hour therapy session, which probably won't even be long enough. And let's just pray I get there on time. Even with this whole key fiasco. My keys were not in my car. <laughs> <laughs> the funniest sentence no, I've No, like ever. literally, <laughs> but I drove them. somewhere without oh, my car keys. No, well, what happened That's was, what was sketchy. She, she went in and dropped, and so she, she goes inside of a home with her key, but key leaves her car running. I did, <laughs> I did explain this in Runs the back. clip I inserted, but oh, shucks, Hunter was just right. like, this always happens to you. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of jinxed me though. Was it two weeks ago we ran out of gas? Three? Oh. If you follow me on TikTok, you also know I ran out of gas on the side of the road. But that's besides the point. We are manifesting all the good energy, all of the good vibe. Honestly, I feel in positive spirits. Like, we're just trying to keep things as positive as possible, considering everything that's going on right now. But I love you guys so much. I just wanted to give you a quick little update on the past couple of weeks. So thank you so much for hanging out. I want to remind you to be brave like Becca. And we'll catch you in my next vlog. Bye.